Hi there, I'm Dave and I help businesses to use technology more effectively. This week we're talking about VCIO versus CIO. What I mean is, are you going to employ a full-time IT director or have a fractional IT director? And obviously if you're a big multinational company, you're going to have full-time staff. If you're a team of five, you really just about need just the basics of the VCIO that probably your managed service provider can mostly provide. Right, let's talk today about management. One of the most difficult things when it comes to managing your team is having contractors that are doing stuff without any control. And what's super important about a VCIO, and by that I don't mean an account manager or somebody that's a sales uh, member of your managed IT provider. What I mean is somebody who's advising the business how to use technology to grow the business, to be more effective, to be more profitable. That person shouldn't really be making decisions without you. That's not their role, especially if they're a contractor, they really shouldn't be making any strategic decisions without involving the leadership team. An IT director within your business is gonna be expected to make certain decisions. And there's often a, uh, a disconnect between management and technology. And the purpose of the VCIO is, is absolutely crystal clear, is to enable the management team to make great decisions. They understand what the decisions are that should be made and they can get them implemented in a timely manner. If that sounds like something you need and you don't want to employ a full-time person to do that, then you need a VCIO. Do you think that you need to employ a full-time cleaner, a full-time uh, maintenance staff, a full-time uh, whatever your non-core function of your business are? There's, there's always a move to kind of try and bring things in-house versus outsourcing, bring things in-house versus outsourcing. And it's difficult to make those decisions well. Generally, I, I think most people agree now that if it's not part of the core function of your business, outsource it because it almost always work out cheaper. And you haven't got to manage these people. Somebody else's problem. You just say, do it or we won't pay you. Whereas if you employ somebody, you've got all the um, HR headaches of dealing with them. I hope that makes sense. I uh, hope that's useful. Let me know what you think. Have a look at my website and uh, I'll speak to you later in the week. Thanks for watching.